Oh, yes, Chief. Man. Yeah, I understand, sir. No, no, Lieutenant Roberts and I are more than happy to go out in uniform. No, that's fine, sir. Thank you. Bye. Hey, All good. you ready? Yeah, yeah, yep. the Chief was just making sure we were okay to go. Ah, uh, okay, perfect. They got low numbers in uniform, so... I said we were more than willing to go out there. Yeah. He just wanted to make sure that we were, you know, cool. Yeah, I was uh, speaking to one of the sergeants, and apparently they're, uh, they're not doing too good with uh, the low numbers. A few sick calls. Yeah, Mission Row apparently has got a few, quite a few sick out, so... Um, apparently VPD isn't the issue, it's just Mission Row's got a, a lot of sick officers at the moment, just with the flu. Yeah. It's all good. I like being in uniform sometimes. Me too. It's refreshing. Yeah. Um, you're right, take radio? Yep. Alright, I'll just sign into the MDT real quick. Best thing about your house being in the zone, patrol zone, though. <laughs> Completely agree. Alright, come on, I'll show you. So, I finally think I found the um, nail for um, t um, Turner's coffin. Come up here. Oh, really? Yeah. I was going through Dad's things again. You know how we've been through them so many times and I accidentally dropped something and it broke and there was a USB flash drive in there. What was on it? Sorry, I've just got it hidden in the shoe in a shoe box just to... Somewhere where someone wouldn't really look, I'm hoping. Because you know how evidence seems to go missing in this case. Mm. Um, my laptop's on my bed, if you can just grab it. And I'll show you. Yeah. Oh, don't worry about it. I got the TV here. I'll just plug it in the TV, um, really. Okay. Just put it down. So you know how we found all that evidence into Marley's um, trunk of his Crown Vic when he was shot? Mm, yeah. Yeah, well, that was the stuff that I was going through as well. Um, so it wasn't actually selling at Dad's, I guess, but it was within the same evidence scope. And I dropped it accidentally and it broke. And inside, you know, it was one of those snow globes that he had. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, there was a USB inside of it when it broke. So I plugged it in because I was curious to see what it is. And he recorded one of his meetings with Turner. No. Yeah. So, um, as you're seeing on here, it's him hiring him for the assassination of my dad. But oh, I don't I don't want to arrest Turner just yet. I He's getting his mayor... He's getting elected for me. We all know what's happening. And it's happening in a few days. So I don't want to go and pick him up now. I want to pick him up publicly. I want to do it on when he's getting his congratulations and all that in front of all the Agreed. press. I want everyone to know how much of a prick this guy is. Yeah. Be ripped off his high horse, finally. Yeah. So for now, though, you and I are the only ones who know about this and Sarah. So just keep it between us. Yeah. Yeah, understood. All right, I'm just going to put it back. What's this fan over here doing? Do you think we should see if they're okay? Yeah. Just parked in a weird spot. I mean, there's spot. a couple of vans there. There was This was definitely occupied, though. Yeah, that one was occupied. Maybe they're just broken down? You reckon they're broken down? I think so. You want to run the tag on that? Oh, I don't even. I can't even see it. It's obstructed I, by the bush. Yeah, I can't see it either. All right, we'll go and make contact and see if they're okay. Okay.
Metro Lima 1 will be out with a stranded motorist, motorist nearest postal 857 Marlow. No backup required. Hi, sir. Um, Captain Henry, this um, you are you guys okay? Uh, I mean, I am. I don't know about. Uh, what was that, sir? Him. Yeah, whereabouts is I your don't passenger? Know about, uh, I think he's uh, out of his mind for a few. Oh, okay. All right. Do you have your license, registration, and proof of insurance on you, sir? What was that? Do you have your license, registration, and proof of insurance on you? Uh, could you give me a minute to find it? Yeah, yep, that's fine, sir. You don't have any weapons or guns or drugs or anything like that inside the vehicle? No, we, no, we don't do any of that. Alright. Yeah, hang on, just give me a few to find. This is a new van, I just bought it the other day. Okay, it's all good, sir. Um. Is there any reason you parked here? You, we just were making sure you weren't broken down or anything like that. Uh, no specific reason why we're here. Okay. You said this is a new van? Um... This may sound odd, but hang on. Can I step out of the vehicle for a moment? Um, yeah, I guess so. As long as you don't have any weapons or anything I'm on you. I'm gonna head to the other. I'm just heading to the other side of the vehicle to get. It's a large vehicle. Well, you have your registration in the back or something, do you? Okay. And Okay, I don't know what you think you're doing, but that's not... I, I don't advise that, okay? You don't advise what we do. Okay, what do you, what do you want? Because I, I kind of find this a little funny, to be no, honest. Want you, to. you want us to. What do you want us for? Do you mind if I if I touch my gun? Do you mind if I do that? Keep your hands up. Oh, okay. Walk to the back of the van. You wanna you wanna tell me what this is about? Because I think I think you guys are pretty stupid, to be honest. I think you should go and lean against the van. That's what I think. Okay. I think you should do the same as well. You okay, Robert? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go pop the door. These guys are a bunch of morons. I, I watched them. Literally. We got dumber and dumber. I'm scared. Yeah, he looks scared. He should be. You do realize this is a stupid idea, Come right? On. Yeah. You're not gonna like how this ends. Yeah, this isn't gonna go well for you two. Yeah, that's what I will say. Why don't you go and get him in the back? Alright, in you go. Oh, that looks terrible. <laughs> God, it's filthy back here. Yeah, literally disgusting. It was nice of them to leave us with our radios. Really was. Hmm. God, it really I told you they were dumb and dumber. Criminals these days are just it's participation awards, really. Yeah, just just stupid. The only issue is I can't reach my radio. Neither can I. Damn it. 
Hey, sir, do you mind if I just talk on my phone real quick? Is that okay with you guys? I, I get no, used. I do mind. Oh, you do mind? Okay. Well, I I'm probably going to use my phone right now because um, I feel like I'm in danger. And I, I feel like you can't drive very well. No, I can drive that won't be necessary. Well. That won't be necessary? Okay. That won't be necessary, um, Roberts. Apparently we don't need our phone. Oh, it, it won't be necessary? Oh. No. It's you, terrible. You two do realise that you have kidnapped two police officers, right? And not just two ordinary police officers. Oh, you're police officers? I couldn't tell. Mm. Yeah, well, we're not just some rookies or some maybe B cop. I should, maybe I should just stop and let you out. That, that is a terrific <laughs> idea, sir. If you, um, if you just want to take I us down to VPD, that'd be amazing. Down to Vespucci Station. That'd be fantastic. And we'll go to the command floor. Yeah, that would be I incredible. could take you six feet under. Six feet under. Well, I'd prefer to go six feet up, if that's oh. all right. He likes to make jokes. Yeah, I, I got, got a jokes. jokester here, a comedian. What kind of criminals kidnap two police officers, leave their radios, phones, and guns on them? What kind of criminals are you two? Good God. The only thing that they did right, Roberts, was they handcuffed them. That's about it. To this stupid, ugly van. Well. I just, them, I just, should be all good. I just, I just can't. kind of find it funny. They'd... They, they don't know who they just kidnapped. They that, do that's not. That's the most hilarious part. They think they've just kidnapped some stupid cops. They have no oh. idea who we are. That's incredible. All right, enough mm. conversation, enough that conversation. That is incredible. Why don't you just be quiet? What, what are you going to do? You're going to make us shut up? You're wearing a fucking safety no, helmet. I'm just suggesting it. The guy wearing a helmet suggests we shut up, Roberts. Mm. Shannon, don't be mean to the special one. Oh! That was unfortunate. Yeah, I love these drivers. Do you have any units mm. close to 857? Metro Show 213 heading to 857. Metro 182, same traffic. Metro 187, same traffic. Mmm. Can you, like, pick there? Mmm. Like, pick, like, in my belt, if you know. Yeah. Another one. Oh, good one, dumb, dumbass. Well, this looks like a nice place. It's very dark. I love, I love dark places. I don't know about you, Roberts, dark. but I love dark places. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fall. Can you help me? I might fall over. You know, my hands are behind my yeah, back. Someone... Sure you yeah. Your own. Okay, well, yeah. I'm just gonna stay in the van. Because you two are just literal morons. I don't think you realize who you have kidnapped. We can drag you out of the van. Mm-hmm. You do realize you two have crossed, like, a boundary that no one would cross. Like, anyone with half a brain would run from. You've, you've kidnapped two high-ranking police officers. The whole department is gonna be after you two. Think anybody will notice your girl? No one will notice. Okay. I haven't seen anyone yet. Well, what you haven't heard the radio that's literally going off Dispatch, asking you for a status So myself, you one zero two and two These thirteen. These two are just morons, Julie. In the area, searching negative I with just, any contact. My brain hurts. I'm just losing cells at the same time. Metro yeah, if you just aren't copy. gonna like take the radios, do you mind just turning them down because it's like bellowing in my ear and it's like extremely loud. Two one three two one two eight. Yeah. How about you just get out of the damn vehicle? How about you make me? <laughs> I don't feel like getting out, do you, Roberts? Metro one zero two, Metro can, four four zero. Can I get you I mean, out here too? Yeah, I don't want to bust up my pretty eye. Yeah. Oh, it's just really hard. Here comes the muscly cuffed. one. Here comes the the talkative one. Oh, what gentleman? 
Come on. Hey, that's a pretty rough. Okay. Ow. Yeah, okay. Metro one is that always having eight. some muscles? Can I turn my radio down, sir? It's like yelling in my ear. It's really loud. Can, hey, yeah. you dumbass, can you just turn it down? It's like right there on my back. You mind just turning it down? Why don't we head this way? Yeah, just... So, uh, yeah. yeah. Say we're 1033, that means we're okay. Yeah, yeah if you just... Oh, if you guys just say 1033 30 on the radio, they'll, they'll, they'll stop looking for us. Head to the edge over there. Head to the edge, okay. I like swimming, do you, Julie? We'll be right. I do, I love a good night swim. Yeah, me too. I, I prefer the, I don't like really the bracelets though. I think we could lose them. All in, it's just spread out. Mm, and true, look on all true. available streets. I have a plan. Mm. Well, my slide is bored. If we turn a certain way, you can pull my gun or we can go for the radio, you know? I say, I think I can go for your gun. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, we got dumber and dumber here. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a nice um, SUV over there, so I'm going to take it that you guys work for Turner. I hope he's uh, aware of what happened to his last goon. He shot him in the head. Are you aware of that? That's probably what he's going to do to you. He's probably going to shoot you. Straight in the head. Yeah. So keep on going. Once he's it's done with collateral. you. collateral. Yeah, you're just collateral, but I mean, you can't, you can't tell him. If he doesn't want to believe it, really. He'll be swimming with the fishies just with us, yeah. I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. How unfortunate. It really is. Anna. Hmm. How are you? Henry. Well, what I... What a fine sight. It is a fine sight. I see you send your two idiots to come and get us. You could have just rang me and I would have come down. Oh, but you would have tried to fight and that would have been no fun for me. Yeah, I probably would have. Oh, don't get too feisty over here now. Yeah, well, we need county units to be you, know, especially that way. you don't like getting your hands dirty, do you? 10-4. Come on down, spread out. Mm, no, scared. I mean, I thought about the 50 cal for you too, but that, with that pretty face, I figure you deserved an open casket. Oh, thank you. That's really considerate to hear that, Julie. We deserve an, we deserve an open casket. That's really nice. I That's did. Cute. What a gentleman. You know, yeah. you've been working so hard. You made your captain's bars, closing so many cases, but... Yeah. I was always the one that eluded you. Mm. Continue to elude County. you. You think you eluded us? Well, I hope goons... you ladies have a nice swim. You do realize the place is surrounded. He doesn't care, mm. sweetie. Good luck. His dumb asses didn't take our Good guns, nice our phones, prison. our radios, or anything. Nah, it's horrible. Who's this? Hmm. Um, I just have one request before you shove us in the ocean. Because you're going to shoot us anyway, like, and I just would rather not have my the bracelets on because they're going to cut my skin and it's going to affect the open casket, like he said. So, do you guys just mind taking them off and then you can just shoot me? You know, I'm... I'm what do you think, Joy? Yeah. I think that's nice. I mean, yeah, I agree. Like, we're, we, we're pretty much dead. Why not just, you know... Yeah, like, we're going to be dying anyway. What, what do you say? I mean, I'll turn around if you want to just take them off. Oh, thank you. That's that's really kind of you. Well, yeah. Turn back around. Okay. Why don't you both go and walk to the edge? Oh, with fucking pleasure. Can I please get my cuffs off? Yeah, actually, I'm not going over to the edge until she gets her cuffs off. Yeah, yeah walk to the edge. Okay, now I'll go to the edge. 